Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Read I.O. Well, a lot of stuff happened last time. Uh, in particular, uh, they got into Mutsuki's computer and uh, <laughs> explored the world of Babylon, uh, got in touch with uh, Dro and uh, Edoc and Lem, and also Hinata got into the Shamash account, and uh, now Hinata's returned home. I know no one will respond. Even so, it greatly diminishes the feelings of loneliness I have I was having earlier. Why is that? I'm alone right now, but I don't feel like I'm alone. There's something warm in my heart. In Babylon, I came into contact with the I.O. system, a puzzling experience if ever there was one. I felt Mutsuki's life in there. Doesn't that mean that Mutsuki's alive as long as Babylon continues to exist? I guess there was some use to diving in there after all, even if only to feel a sense of reality. What are Hinata and Sakuya doing right now? Are they playing the final scenario while I'm here? That means my shadow is my other self, and yet not me, doesn't it? But when I return to Babylon, we fuse together. If that kind of shadow has self-consciousness, then... To them, they are the real deal, and Babylon is the real world, and the players are characters summoned from a parallel universe to possess them. It's a world that lies beyond the mirror. For all I know, that might be wrong, but I feel like I'm slowly beginning to understand why Mutsuki chose the charm of an innovative job managing Babylon. It rained in cyberspace as well. It was a spurious natural phenomenon caused by the admins, whom you could call gods in that matter. But every single drop that hit me felt so cold, so real. So Afterwards, Sagio cross-examined Inagaki. Sorry, I mean Chikitita, for a bit. Tashkani,見つかりは生変かったとはいえ。何か手がかりでも。どうも、二人とも時間転移されたくさい。時間転移だって。うん。拙者はまだパートナーが見つかってないから、外部から観察してるだけやねんけど。could it be that only couples can participate in scenario Asher? Probably. Yeah, that's for sure. まあ、最終と歌われてるぐらいだから、いろいろ仕掛けもあるんだと思うんだな。あるポイントで、二人は全く逆の時間軸。つまり過去と未来に飛ばされるらしいんや。そして離れ離れの時空で事件を解決せえ
Those who suffer from being unable to feel their own existence in the real world, but have adapted to operating telecommunication systems and other networks. In virtual worlds, they don't even need to be connected to everything via an electronic link. This is because they can feel an overwhelming sense of self and sense of completeness there, and so they are more sensible, faster, and can operate things more accurately. Therefore, rather than being called a mental illness, it's been interpreted as humans' mental makeup being optimized to follow in accordance with the new world. Their existence might be a new breed of humans born because they're needed in this era. Uh, sure, if you say so. Sagatte! Babylon de Kuri Hiroge Rare de Hiki wa Kenjitsu yori mo mune ni sebatte kuri. Kimi ni wa wakarahen no gana! Kenjitsu sekai ga uso kusaku omoeru kankaku ga! I sees? No, more importantly, how does Inagaki know how I feel? Can he see into my mind? Or is Inagaki also the same as me? Above everything else, though, the last thing is the only thing I don't want to admit. More importantly, and on top of that, my mind isn't working very well. Even the fact that I'm unsettled right now is making me unsettled. <laughs> ここ that was a conversation we had, and then all of a sudden the conversation went dead. It seemed like there was nothing more we could do on the net to investigate our classmates' whereabouts tonight. I checked the clock to find that it was close to 11 p.m. I said our farewells to Inagaki and walked Sakio home. <laughs> Sakio stood in front of her house and looked at me with upturned eyes, looking like she was reluctant to part with me. She was clearly depressed about not being certain about her friend's whereabouts. <laughs> I say that as if I'm trying to persuade myself of that as well. Mm. Saki was clearly trying not, not to go into her house. I looked up to find that the lights were on, even though no one should have been there. Lately, more and more people have been leaving their lights on even when they leave the house in order to prevent their homes from being robbed. But I think in her case it's because she can't stand going home to a completely dark house. That's something that resonates deeply in my mind as well. Suddenly I realized something strange. Even though Saki is always coming over to my house, she's never tried inviting me over to hers. It makes sense when that scary dad of hers is there, but right now there shouldn't be anyone else there. Perhaps she's being cautious because I'm a boy? No, if that really were true, then it would make more sense if she didn't come to my house. In that case... <laughs> As she, says this, as she said this, I wrapped my arms around her shoulders that were trembling in little spasms. Her soaking wet body looked smaller than usual. Because of the rain, our bodies weren't warming up in the slightest, despite the fact that Sakia was pressed against me. Her trembling passed from her body into mine. Only her eyes seemed to have any light in them. And then... <laughs> Sakia backed away from me as if she were peeling herself off of me. In that instant, it felt like my soul had been split into two. <laughs> I just waved my hand, unable to say anything meaningful. In an instant, Sakyo turned around and disappeared through her front door. Her hair swayed like a rabbit's ears. For a moment, I was captivated by the illusion that Sakyo was going somewhere far away. I shrugged my shoulders, and just when I tried to turn around to go home, I took a quick peek back to find Sakyo's face sticking out of one of the, one of the windows. There was no sign of the solemn state she was in just moments ago. Jeez, she's such a neighborhood nuisance at night. Although I thought that, a smile instinctively rose to my face. 
早いとこそのびしょ濡れの服を脱いでとっとと熱いシャワー浴びてこいあ,あ何今なんかいやらしい想像したでしょうはいなんでそうなるんだよえしなかったのなんでよ<笑> Make up your mind. 結局どっちがいいんだよ Yeah, exactly. もう鈍感なんだから決まってるじゃないどっちもよくてどっちもダメなの No, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. とにかく私はいつもサボテンと同じ気持ちなんだからね。わかった ?What? You mean you're always prickly? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Was there a reason to specifically tell me that? えっと、わかったような気はする。もう全然わかってないはいはい。僕は女心が全然わからない。僕レンジンですよ。うむうむ。わかればよろしい。Which do you want? Well, I don't really get it, but it seems it's really true that I don't get tired when I'm with Sakura. Perhaps she thinks the same of me. As with most days, I part with her feeling like that. The hands of the clock went past midnight a long time ago. With this, my school break is officially over, and it's now Thursday. I never thought I'd be looking forward to school this much. There are several mysteries still plaguing me. The keys to solving those mysteries are also waiting for me at school. My classmates, Yayoi Sensei and. I take a quick shower and absent mindedly change into my night clothes. That said, I'm still not sleepy. I'm not scared of sleeping anymore. It's just that before I do so, there's something I have to do. Yoshi. The place where Mutsuki hid the crossword clues. It's obvious that they're most likely in her room. Since no one cleaned it up, she must have left the clues at the same time she ran away from home. Just like the book with the password in it. Dear, dear, I shall be too late. 大変だ、大変だ。もう遅れちゃうか。If my memory serves me right, was it the rabbit summoned to a tea party? Wait, or was it that he was summoned by the queen? But does that quote mean that Sakyu and I are late for something? When I think about where it could be hidden, I feel like it could be hidden by anything anywhere in this room. So first, I face the bookcase, the most standout object in the room. There's disc cases lined up in a row. There's a CD on the left end of the highest shelf. I remember that since our interests in music didn't match up, we'd go to separate corners of the same room and wear headphones to listen to our music. But now, I entrust myself to the music that shaped Mutsuki's heart. I sit down on the bed, open each of the disc cases one after another, take out the liner notes, and try looking at everything. Mutsuki becomes a wave that begins to soak me. That's why I. Yeah, that was probably. That's probably another place where a choice might come up. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, after opening a various number of cases, no. I quickly squint my eyes as I focus on a part of the bookcase. It turns out to be where the famous Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland is. Ah, It's an English Japanese version with the original English on the left page and the Japanese translation on the right. Because the rabbit scene is near the start of the book, I find it quickly. ねえ、お兄ちゃん、一緒に読もうよ。Those nostalgic lines and memories run within, within my mind. Shamash's password was from a passage in Alice in Wonderland. If that's the case, then the key to the clues should be in Alice in Wonderland. Why didn't I realize that up until now? As I think that, I look at the English text. Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. <laughs> Are my eyes deceiving me? I try reading it one more time, but the words obviously don't change. I open Light and Shadow of the Ancient Orient to the page I found the password. Dear, dear, I shall be too late. There's no doubt about it, the two O's aren't there. Because it's just an interjection, it doesn't really change the meaning of the sentence at all, but it does bring up a problem. Because if I'd gotten the password wrong and had entered Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late, I wouldn't have been able to enter Babylon. Maybe Mutsuki took out the oath because it would have made the password too long? Of course, that's a possibility, but it doesn't leave me really satisfied. 
It feels as if I've fastened my buttons wrong. It's a strange feeling, like when I found the summoning incantation for Shamash in the Epic of Gilgamesh and tried entering it only for it to fail. Logically speaking, there should be an answer that'll leave me satisfied. The reason I'm unsatisfied is because Mutsuki's idea of solving riddles is to scatter clues around in vague locations. I've been entrusted with the duty of solving them. Feeling rather overwhelmed by these thoughts, I boot up Mutsuki's computer as if to distract myself. Light rises to the monitors like a mirage. In it is the message Mutsuki left, and... The boxes of the crossword puzzle, blank as always. Regarding the puzzle itself, there's 26 down and 15 across, for a total of 229 letters. There's also 14 boxes with green squares in them. I'm guessing the letters that go in there form an anagram that, can I, that I can derive the answer from. Um, well, I think the term is acrostic, but okay. しかしな... I'm really good at crossword puzzles, but how am I supposed to solve it without keywords or clues? Wait, what was it that Ren said about this again? Words like clues spanning from Babylonian mythology to Alice in Wonderland begin to fill everywhere in the, on the white screen that is my mind. There are some that seem like they'd, they'd fit, and others that don't. Hey, Even if I worry, it solves nothing. I'll just use trial and error to figure it out. If I'm at a loss for what to do, I should try everything out. Yes. With that thought, I reach out for the keyboard. In that instant, Prompto. the cursor on the screen flashes as if it had been waiting for a text entry up until now. So, apparently it's... Uh, it's able to sense when you, it when you bring your hands close to the keyboard or something. That's what I what I'm interpreting from this. Drawn in by it, I start typing. Shamash. Huh? When I come to my senses, I notice that on the lower middle section of the crossword puzzle on the screen, the word shamash has appeared vertically. One second later, the letter bodies to the left and right of the word are highlighted. A cross clue. Blank H star blank blank. In psychology, the restrained impulses of a person's consciousness. Blank 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 M blank 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 blank. A very small engine proposed by Drexler. Blank blank star blank 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 A blank. A Babylonian pyramid with stairs. And it, uh, Two words, the miracle that Mary, the mother of Jesus, experienced. The letters H, M, A, and the last H begin to stretch out into words. It seems that if I click them, it allows me to try entering the letters. And furthermore, there's four green boxes there. In other words, if I'm able to solve them, I'll be able to grasp the keys to the truth. For now, I'll start to, by solving the ones that are in my field of expertise. A cross clue. Da -da 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 -da. A very small engine proposed by Drexler. Nano machine. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Drexler is a scholar whom I respect. If he hadn't proposed the future of the nanotech revolution, the present world would probably be quite different. Down clue. Uh, a test used to distinguish computers from humans. Yeah, that's the um, <clears throat> uh, Turing test. The name of one of the most legendary hackers is Isaiah blank A blank blank. A circuit that is letting out sparks has blank blank O blank blanked. Uh, the gods, gods of Babylonia with the heavenly god Anu at their core. Two words. In Christianity, the verdict carried out by God in the final day. なるほど. So I'm supposed to follow up on them in succession like this. Anyway, until I come across words I don't know, I'll continue to take on the ones I can with all I've got. So let's take a look at these new ones. Ugh, that last one. Not only is it long, it, but it's also got three anagram letters, so I know I need to solve it, but... Thing is, I'm not exactly what you'd call the religious type. 
Well, there's no need to solve it now. Like I said, I'll tackle the ones I do know for the time being. Anyway, let's get back on track. Down clue. Hmm. A test user. Blah, blah, blah. Two ring, yeah. The letters that match up with the green boxes appear at a small box at the bottom of the crossword puzzle, away from the other boxes. There's just 12 empty spaces left. Yes. Alan Turing was a mathematician who was known for coming up with the idea of a machine with unlimited calculation power known as a Turing machine. His name is used for the test where a machine that passes it is considered to have human intelligence. Cross clue. A muscle protein whose name is similar to a word that means the process of doing something. Um, duh, duh, duh. trying to think. I'm trying to solve this myself. Um, it's actin, yeah. A Babylonian pyramid of stairs, cigarette, obviously. Biology, huh? Well, it's a technical term, so if I look it up, I'll figure it out pretty quickly. What else is there? <laughs> Down clue. The gods of Babylonia with the heavenly god Anu at their core. Anunnaki, yeah. I guess you could say I'd already done my homework when it came to that answer. Down clue. A circuit that is letting out sparks has... Shorted. If electricity doesn't move properly through a part, the circuit shorts, and the surge of electricity causes sparks to scatter. In a sense, it's the simplest word yet. A cross clue. In psychology, the restrained impulses of a person's unconsciousness... Well, we know. Um, was that brought up in the keywords? Uh... Well, if you've been watching the abridged version, I think you didn't see that, but it's uh, Shadow. Yeah, Ziggurat. Here's another one I did my homework on. A shrine to the moon, a staircase to the heavens. That would be... Ziggurat. Just as I thought. Everything really feels like it's fitting into place. Down clue. A visual hallucination that appears to a prophet. Vision, of course. The name of the one the most legend one of the most legendary hackers is Isaiah Blank A G Blank. <laughs> one of those social science related questions that I'm so bad at has shown up. I'll come back to it in a bit. For now, let's try the other word, the one that I ignored earlier. A hacker. Up until right now, I've thought of them as things that didn't concern me, but in a sense, Mutsuki was a hacker. Is he a friend of her? I take a look at the whole puzzle again. Come to think of it, there was this word I was on the verge of solving that I left behind. I immediately pull up a net search engine. Muscle and protein. Submit. Searching. Proteins found in muscle tissue that both generate forces to contract the muscles are myosin and actin. Yatta. Yeah, Actin is just one letter away from being action, which means the process of doing something, so I know it fits. Just then, down clue. Like a blank eye, blank blank, two words. The first two words of the three word acronym where Nemu, the fairy's name, originates from. <coughs> Damn, talk about a long one. And what's more, solving it is the only way to get to this word in the upper left with an anagram letter in it. This is where I really need to get serious, but... Uh, hang on, before I go on... I think I know what that is, but I'm not gonna say it just yet. Well, I've got no choice. Let's just read it over again. Yeah, but except it's, it's, it, I got an L. See, this is where he's getting hung up. Um, now I might, I might be wrong, but I think that it stands for Lunar Excursion Module. That was, uh, no, I put it in the, uh, in the notes on the forum, but, uh, Lunar Excursion Model, a module, was the original name of the Lunar Module in the Apollo program. Uh, you know, the thing that landed on the moon. Uh, it's a bit strange, but 
Um, I'm pretty sure the answer to that is Lunar Excursion in this puzzle. Uh, I, I, when I, when I went through this before, I guessed that pretty quickly. Uh, uh, so, that was... Anyway, let's go on. Come to think of it... Sakura said something strange. In Japanese, you can hear the name Nemu in a number of ways, one of them being uh, Remu, but the clue said it's three words, not four. In other words, she misinterpreted the fairy's name as Remu, but what other options are there? I'm pretty sure her name is Rem, R-E-M, so... What's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of an acronym that's REM? Uh-huh. Humans have dreams. I'm pretty sure that REM sleep is related to dreams. And the kanji for dream is the same as the first kanji of Mutsuki's name. If REM is Mutsuki's shadow, then it wouldn't be strange for her to give her shadow a name that has a connection to her own. REM and sleep. Submit. Ching. Ram. Rapid eye movement. Yes, data. To borrow a phrase from Sakuya, I'm on fire today. It feels like I'll solve all the mysteries if I keep it up at this pace. I start typing again in high and proud spirits. Ora? What a stupid oversight on my part. The answer is 14 letters long, while rapid eye is only 8 letters, and the eye doesn't match up. So it obviously wasn't the right answer. But what else could it be? Radiation emit... Sonna. My vision is literally getting dark. Up until now, things have been going far too well. Just how am I supposed to break the deadlock in this situation? When I come to my senses, there's a fairy in the school hallway. Now, is this a dream or is this uh, a hologram on the computer? Well, it's not a hologram, but whatever. When I think about it carefully, this is an extremely surreal reality. Is this in the net or is it... Yeah, exactly, my question. Or is it a dream? Come to think of it, shouldn't I ask Rem what the source of her name is? I run down the pitch black hallways as if I'm partially being dragged along. It feels as if nothing exists in this world except for Rem and me, as if something's bewitching me. <sighs> when I get there, I'm really out of breath. Even though this is an imaginary world, my lack of exercise still carries over. When she says that, I carefully examine my surroundings. When I do... It's hard to breathe, like my whole body was just a, uh, just ran a hundred meters. It's not unreasonable, even though I was in an imaginary world, I actually ran. At least I don't have a headache like the ones I used to get. It's said that dreams are simply a byproduct of the process of your brain trying to sort out the information you absorbed when you were awake. If that's the case, then did my subconscious take the form of REM and try to bring something into my attention? Saku is late today. This is odd, considering she'd usually be calling out to me with that over-energetic voice of hers. Uh, when I turn around, I see... Sami? No, this behavior definitely belongs to Yumi. Good! You're observing the behavior. That's the easiest way to tell. 
おはようございます。For some reason, her voice sounds sleepy. なあ、おはよう、ユミ。今日は歌ったりしてないんですね。え、な、そ、それは。Okay, this is really, really bad. I've got to do something right away. ユミも歌とか好きですよ。Hmm? Come to think of it, didn't she say she was going to her leader's place the last time we met here? No, so ka. Bando ka nani ka yatte tan da yo ne. Bando. To yu yori wa team ka na. Eh? Team? The image of a group of Yumi's playing soccer, tripping over their own feet and face planting in the grass pops into my mind. Nah, no way. I don't think it's a sports related team. Futamatagawa, a river in Musashino that's said to mark the dividing line between this world and hell. There's also a nearby high school with the same name. Wow, is that really true? I'll have to look that one up. No, so not that. From Futama High, huh? Unlike our school, it's public, meaning they've probably got a wide variety of people there. If that's the case, then that must mean Yumi and her friends are part of an ex extramural club or something. じゃあ、ゴールデンウィークは大体その活動で。はい。みんな一緒で楽しかったですよ。All of us. Those words are far beyond me. そういえば、サミだっけ。お姉さま。あ、お姉ちゃんだったら風邪をこじらせて寝込んじゃってます。ああ、そうなんだ。この間会った時には元気そうだったけどな。I'm sure that was just two days ago. お姉ちゃん、いつも気が張ってるせいか、倒れる時はパタンと行っちゃうんですよね。へえ、そういうもんなんだ。It seems like it really is the Shinazuka sisters' lot in life to always fall down or collapse. The two of them seem so different, yet they might actually have a fundamental shared point deep down which connects them. <laughs> When I look, I see the bus that goes to our school in the middle of rounding the street's corner. Yumi quickly heads towards the bus. I follow after her as if the two of us are connected by an invisible thread that's pulling me along. What are you thinking, Hinata? <laughs> While walking, I turn around only to see. Saku is silently, silently staring at me. Hinata kun wa crossword puzzle book o n o k a nan desu ka? Eh, ya, tada tan ni kojin teki ni suki na dake da kara. So nan desu ka? Demo mutsu ni nareru no wa sugoku ii koto da to omoimasu. Haha, so da ne. Hinata kun wa. 普段どんな本を読むんですか？本か。最近読んでないな。そういえば、昨日不思議の国のアリスをちょっと読み返したけど。Just a tiny bit. Just then, Yumi's eyes light up. ルイスキャロルですね。ユミも読みました。あれ、いろんなバージョンがあるんですよね。あ、そうなの？はい。アリスリデルという名の女の子だけに送られた。地下の国のアリスっていう字も絵も全部手書きの本が元になってるんですよ。たった一人のために書かれたの。今ではそれも出版されてるんですけどね。他にも作者自身が小さな子供のために絵本として書き直した子守のアリスとか。鏡の国のアリスとは違うの。はい。鏡の国のアリスは続編です。今言った不思議の国のアリス、地下の国のアリス、子守のアリスは基本的には同じ話なんですよ。でも細部は違う。そうですね。バージョンによってシーンがあったりなかったりして。じゃあ登場人物のセリフが違ってるとかそういうことも。えっと詳しくは比べてみないとわからないですけど、当然そういうこともあるはずです。そっか、そうだよな。うんうん、ありがとう。え？な。I instinctively grasp Yumi's hands tightly. 
For some reason, Sakuya has taken an unusual distance from us, about five seats behind us, and is looking our way. I've never seen her look so expressionless before. Go, go man. Please, I frantically let go of her hands. Yumi's enthusiastic expression returns, and she mutters something as she looks at her hands. Yumi then proceeds to give me an innocent, angelic smile. I secretly shift my gaze to Sakya. Oh crap. Please let me survive the day.生物はDNAという二重ら線構造によって世代から世代へと遺伝情報を可能な限り正確に受け継いできました。その限りないコピー連鎖に突然変異というコピーミスが生じます。たった一つの遺伝情報の違いは個体差を生み、その積み重ね
Man, he really looks different in real life. It really is an odd scene to find Sakuya and Inagaki finding kindred spirits in each other. It's fairly obvious from their conversation, but neither Yoshida nor Hiragi Midori showed up this morning. Inagaki coweringly throws me a help me sign several times, but Sakuya intercepts them each time. She's mad today. She's been like this ever uh, since this morning. Normally she'd tug me by the ear so hard that it would hurt me, but she's kept a distance from me so far for today. She ignores me when I call out to her, and then she doesn't hesitate to make me feel completely left out, like with that spitball she shot at me earlier. Honestly, it's getting on my nerves. Oh, what's going on? Is she calling out to me? Or is he calling out to me? Well, she can do whatever she wants. I'm feeling a little hurt right now, so I decide to leave the classroom. My destination is... The same phrases as last time. It's louder than usual today, resounding hollowly. Is she out on a smoke break like last time? Or... The door opens and someone comes in. For a second, I think that it's Yayoi-sensei calling, uh, coming back, but... A female upperclassman with straight hair nervously asks me this after surveying the room. Her face is pale. As she says this, the girl suddenly sits down on a bed and takes out her cell phone. Could she be trying to make an emergency call to Sensei? The girl's gaze is mixed with anger and sadness. Her eyes are swollen and red. It feels like she'd wept her eyes out beforehand. The girl loses interest in me and looks away as she starts to focus on her cell phone once more. Since I don't know where Yayoi Sensei is, all I can do is leave the room. As I walk down the hallway, I feel as if I'm running away from Yayoi Sensei. Even though I'd planned on asking her so much once break ended. It kind of feels like the flower bud of hope is beginning to wilt, as if some external pressure has been put on me from somewhere in an attempt to make me frustrated. As, I, as I'm imprisoned by that delusion, I check my surroundings. Huh? Isn't this... That definitely happened in a dream, but where did I go after that? I'm pretty sure it was there. That's right, she guided me to the library. Thinking about it now, it's rather obvious, but this is the best place to go when you want to look up something you don't know. That's why I'll head for... Uh, Hinataku? I see a girl holding a book. Yumi. I've been coming across her a lot like this recently. This is the foreign literature, British American literature section. And the book in Yumi's hands is... Soretta, moshikashite, chika no kuni no Arisu? The pages she's opened have handwritten English and an illustration on the left page, while the type translation and illustration is on the right page. The illustration is of a rabbit with a placid, uh, with a plaid vest holding an umbrella and a pocket watch. I look to the left page and desperately skim through Lewis Carroll's difficult-to-read handwriting, and I find it. Dear, dear, I shall be too late. Yumi 
、探してたことが見つかったみたいで、よかったですね。<笑> Her carefree, angelic face is close to my own. No. She has a fluffy yet pleasant feminine scent. In that instant, I feel conscious of Yumi as a member of the opposite sex for the first time. I instinctively look downwards, but this time her breasts are what lie at the top of my field of vision. They carve an almost surprisingly abundant, undulating shape in her uniform. I no longer know where I should look. Why didn't I notice such an obvious thing up until now? That's right, Yumi's a girl and I'm a boy. Not having noticed the change in my innermost thoughts, Yumi just smiles at me like the Mona Lisa. She just stands there, looking as though she has been completely separated from time and space. I don't even need to turn around to know who that is. ストーカーとは誤愛殺ね。いや、さくや、いい加減ストーカーみたいなまねやめてくれよ。ストーカーとは誤愛殺ね。え、ストーカーさんだったんですか？ちょ、ちょっと人聞きの悪いことを言わない
僕に自由意志はないのえ She raises her eyes, staring at me with slight confusion. もう一回聞くけど、僕は昨夜以外の女の子と話しちゃいけないのそんなこと、ないけど。けど Sakuya closes her eyes tightly, her shoulders and clenched fists trembling quickly back and forth. Sakuya? うん、やっぱりそんなことあるのえ She suddenly stands up and declares this in an unbelievably loud voice that I can't imagine she was storing somewhere in her slender body. Wow. <laughs> Now that's the point where I think about stalking off and saying, just leave me alone for a while. I had no idea she'd been brooding that much about me. Sakuya? Nante ne? Are you sure you're kidding? Sakendara, nante ka suki de shata. Sakuya answers as she wipes the outer corners of her eyes with her right index finger. Uso yo, uso uso. Hinata wa jiyuji nanda kara. Mochiron dare to hanashita te betsu ni iyo. なんだかなでも、私だってそうなんだから。ひなたが誰かと話すたびに、いろんなことを思ったって、それは誰にも止められない。だから、それだけは覚えておいてよ。She looks at me with upturned eyes and sends me a smile as her rabbit ear likes hair sways. まあ、うん。Her expression is so intense that it feels like it could squeeze the breath right out of me. What are you saying? You've been clearly. That's clearly what has been happening. <sighs> If that's the case, then I don't know what your cr criteria are. I've come back here once again. I never got around to completing my original goal here, after all. I take out the sheet of paper I printed out before I left home today. SH something、uh, blank blank. In psychology, the restrained impulses of a person's unconsciousness.、Uh, yeah, two words a miracle of Mary, the mother of Jesus, experienced visual hallucination that appears to a prophet. The name of one of the most legendary hackers is Isaiah something AG something. Etc. Yeah, oh. Yeah, oh, yes, this one. Uh. Yeah. In my hands, I hold six questions I couldn't figure out. But here, there are lots of books, and I can search on the net. Now then, where to begin? Well, I'll just type in some of them Psychology and Restrained. Submit. Searching. The restrained emotions that are associated with psychological pain take the form of a complex known as the shadow. Merging with the shadow leads to the path of healing. Shadow? Tashka, Babylon no bunshi mo so yo bare te itan jana kattaka. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Dakara! So re wa zenbu jana kte mo, ima made no iron na tokoro ni mo chiri ba mete aru na. Mo. Could it be that the crossword puzzle is composed of the various pieces of information that I've been uncovering since starting my investigation into Mutsuki? Messiah and Mother and Mary and Miracle. Mary Magdalene, Black Mary, Gabriel, The Annunciation, Healing, Resurrection, Rebirth, Spiritual Awakening. It brought up a bunch of links to sites, but as I'm As I'm at a loss as to which one it、uh, could be, it, I'm honestly considering giving up on this one. A miracle doesn't have a scientific definition. It seems like it'd be quicker to find a Christian and ask them. I could also ask them about the whole verdict carried out by God on the final day matter as well. Prophet and visual hallucination. Submit. Ezekiel, Melech, Cherubim, 
Merkava, Enoch, Daniel, Jacob's Ladder, Isaiah. But why is it that just these names are popping up? Could it be that there's something religious philosophical hidden in Babylon? Only one left. Legend and Hacker Isaiah. Brain destruction, untraceable. Prophet Isaiah, he, imaginary children, the first I see. Uh -huh. This is what makes up Isaiah? What's more, it really does seem to be a philosophical question as words whose meanings I don't know come out one after another. It feels as if I've gotten lost in an endless jungle. I didn't get to meet up with Yayoi Sensei. Sakio went to Midori's house. That's why I... Instinctively came to this city. It's overflowing with people, and though it's based off a real-life city, this city is more disorderly and definitely has a sketchy feel to it. Oi! Itaka! Yeah, go to the how long have I been ser have I seriously been trying to find Mutsuki? Even though it's only been a few days, it feels like I've been doing it for several years. For the last two years, I've been living more like a corpse than a person. I didn't feel like doing anything, kept my distance from everything. Everything began to move the moment I tried to start. When I move, the world changes. The one who decided no matter what you do, it changes nothing in the end was me. But the thing that needed to change wasn't the world, but me. Hinata has experienced a lot of things in my place. He's my shadow. Does that make him my restrained other self? And every time I enter Babylon, I merge with that shadow. The restrained emotions that are associated with psychological pain take the form of a complex known as the shadow. Merging with the shadow leads to the path of healing. I see that healing exists because everyone ends up wanting to come back to Babylon. That's why I came back here. Mutsuki, are you here? Download of your shadow's experience is now complete. I spontaneously say those words. She gives me a natural smile. Has Rem not noticed that I've changed from the Shadow Hinata to me, who has substance? I can't help but ask her a question. That's because it's what Rem calls me. Or is it because I was born just a little earlier than Mutsuki? Either way, it's not like I myself wish to be born. Even if I ask Rem why she's Rem, she won't know. After all, I don't know why I'm Hinata. Ma Mom and Dad gave me this name. That's all I know about it. The one who named Rem, it's likely that Mutsuki was carrying out some sort of wish by naming her that. And it doesn't stand for rapid eye mood, like, I like I'd guessed. What happened? That said, if Rem is Mutsuki's shadow, then it wouldn't be strange for her to share some memories with Mutsuki, even if it's not all of them. That crossword puzzle is something Mutsuki set up for me, so... No way, it was that easy? I tried to take my notepad out of my pocket, but then I realized that it wasn't converted into data. <laughs> now that's, uh, this interface is strange to me. So it's not like you carry over everything from reality here. There's a gap between this virtual world and the real world. It feels like I'm swimming in that gap. <laughs> 
もうなんでそんなこともわかんないの well, it,、um... yeah. 怒られてもなだってレムはレムはこの占いの結果を決して忘れないでください。あなたにとって。人々にとってそして多くの世界にとってあなたは重要なキーなのです君は That's what she said at, that fortune, at the fortune telling house after she flipped the last card and that card was the last judgment so is that what it means? 破滅の時は一刻一刻と迫ってきています今すぐ滅ぶというわけではありませんが時間があるわけでもありません At that time, I wasn't Hinata but Shamash. It's impossible for anyone other than those connected to Mutsuki to know that Hinata and Shamash are the same person. まるで失われた神のようにあなたもそうそして失われた神はコマンドとパスワードを打ち込むことによって自分の別のシャドウに対して上書きをかけることができるのです人格のオーバーライド myself, Rem, me, それでいいのですさあ私はそろそろ行かなくてはなりません Will Chikikita be showing up again like always? That said, I'm starting to get tired of that pattern. Kimi wa ilon na koto shitte rin da ne. Demo, dou shite boku ni yara seru no? Dou shite jibun de yara nai no? Watashi ni wa bets ni yara neba nara nai koto ga arimas. Sore ni, hito ni tayotte bakari de wa jibun no michi o kiri hirak koto ga dekiru no kashira. Jibun de dekiru koto wa yara sa. Tada, jikan ga nai toka, isoge toka yu wari ni wa 方法論が間違ってるんじゃないかと思ったんだそう普通そういう時はお互いに持ってる情報全て出して話し合う方が効率的だと思う前に誰かからそういうわけにはいかないのだと聞きませんでしたかいい毒にいえもっと恐ろしい人知を超越した存在に。She's speaking in an odd way, as if she were referring to a frightening god. Just what kind of being would frighten even a goddess of cyberspace? あなたも察している通り、このレムは一種の乗り物に過ぎません。私と、そしてもしかしたらシンと、そしてあるいはまた別の存在の。妖精が乗り物一人ごとです。語ることは悟ること。あなたの探索に幸あれかし待ってくれまだ聞きたいことは山ほどあるんだすべては天皇神の御心のままに God damn it not again <笑>大丈夫かへへへ、今まで何してたかよく覚えてないけど、じゃあレムこれで行くね。誰だよそれ出発進行
I stand alone in the shopping district as if I've been abandoned. Around me are shadows I don't know, or maybe there are just player characters loitering around. Over there is. Today was different than usual as I went to the internet cafe all by myself. Then does that mean that the Sakya here is the shadow that was split off from Sakya and moving on its own? I'm not sure what I should say to her. I'm going to try to see if I can tell whether the one I'm talking to is the real Sakya or not. This is a Turing test in every meaning of the phrase. Nope, not even close. That's not what Sakya would say at all. I'm not surprised by that. It's what I'd expected after all. But I realize the shock I'm feeling is that I've noticed that there is a me who wished from the bottom of my heart to see Sakya right now. I'm sure she's parroting what Sakya told me, but those words have definitely healed me. Up until now, no one's ever said that to me, have they? <laughs> Are shadows the only thing more humane than an actual human? Has my life up until now been distorted because my soul was born along with a body? <laughs> Sakyu embraces me as if I were as if she were a mother comforting her child. How long has it been since I leapt into my mom's arms this honestly? よし、よし。ムツキちゃんはいい子でちゅね。ムツキ、さあおいで。父さんが高い高いしてあげよう。そら。大丈夫かしら。熱が下がらないの。うん、休めるかどうか会社に連絡してみるよ。お願いします。あ
Is this the new era that Muski had her eye on? The next time Sakyu accesses Babylon, this experience of the two of us spending this time together like this will be downloaded into her. When that happens, what will Sakyu think? <laughs> the instant I think that, I separate my body, bits, from Sakya. I mustn't let myself get used to being spoiled. I can't let myself start acting like a spoiled kid so easily. What a clingy, way too honest shadow. Chiquitita. Submit. Calling. You can call the handle of any person in Babylon that you're acquainted with unless they've blocked you. I call Inagaki, who, oddly enough, I haven't seen yet so far. For a little while, he doesn't respond. He's got some nerve to ignore me. Or maybe he hasn't noticed the message? Just when Sakyu and I are start, uh, start to get impatient. あっちは戦闘系の職業だし、こっちはレベル低いし、助けに行ってもかえって足で窓になるんじゃなかろうか。うーん、もう、ひなたの行くじなし。はあ、is no, I'm not sure you'd call this a predicament. And besides, I don't recall becoming friends with Inagaki. I was careless for thinking that shadows were actually kind of nice. I need some time to do some deep introspection on myself. Duro, the net fan club of Fairy Ram? But they actually turned out to be a crime syndicate. So if you bring those facts together. When I see Sakyo open her mouth as wide as she can, I cover my ears. Inagaki realized it a second too late, but he follows suit. <laughs> We're all out of breath. We managed to escape the DMZ in front of the gate, an area where no one can attack normally. Or escape to the DMZ. DMZ, Demilitarized Zone, originally referred to an area of armistice or neutrality in times of war. On the net, refers to computers not protected by the firewall. Perfect security would prevent all passage of data. However, that means preventing even the passage of data you wish to transmit. Therefore, in the case where security is not a problem, computers on a local network are often put into DMZs. Devices within the same firewall are, by definition, in a DMZ with each other. Hackers and crackers can attack even the strictest of securities if they can turn, in, turn them into DMZs. The area in front of the gate in Babylon is a demilitarized zone, which means PKs and enemy NPCs cannot attack you. His eyes are extremely serious, unlike they've ever been before. Oh, I get it. Come to think of it, Sakya told me that Inagaki was going to check his friend's house, just like she was with Midori. Uh, yeah, then this is also a shadow. I contacted Inagaki because I thought he might know something, but it looks like that was an extreme waste of effort. Damn it. Still, I feel like I should try to get my money's worth. Ja. This is pointless. 
I can't really tell whether or not I'm getting closer to or farther from the truth. I definitely have clues, but th at the same time, there's a thick wall that's preventing me from going on forward. That said, first I'll go home and take on the crossword puzzle again. If I input the words I do know, it'll I'll surely be able to figure out some new info. <laughs> Yumi! Mom! She says that and gives me a sweet smile. Na <laughs> Ever since I became conscious of her earlier today, my body's been reacting kind of funny. Come to think of it, didn't Yumi have some sort of interest in them too? I don't remember when exactly it was, but I talked to her about Kafka's masterpiece this one time, and uh, this one time she and I passed each other in the hallway. I take the folded note out of my pocket. Printing from that screen would feel kind of sacrilegious, so I wrote out the grid pattern on paper by hand. Hmm. <laughs> Yumi says this, leans against the nearby guardrail, and takes out a, du a dully shining metal object. It appears to be a pocket computer. I lean on the guardrail as well, standing right next to Yumi. There's no conspicuous lights around us, so I can see the backlight coming from the windows of the small monitor on y Yumi's pocket computer. <laughs> Yumi clicks the newly popped up window, types visual hallucination into it, presses synonyms, and hits the enter key. <laughs> to think it'd be that simple. Illusion. Vision. Vision. The N fits in perfectly with the N from Virgin Birth. She types Vemu in this time. Ram, rapid eye movement. Ram, radiation emission measurement. Um, <clears throat> Remoulade, Remoulade sauce, what? Lemuria, Lemurian continent, ancient Ho uh, Rome festival for goat, what? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Lemuria is um, reference to Ever 17, for those who don't know. Uh, I think, I think the formatting is messed up on this. Uh, okay, well. Ten or so words are lined up on the screen, but none of them match up with the number of letters on the crossword puzzle. <laughs> Yume appears to have gotten an idea as she types LEM in the window and hits the enter key. LEM, Lunar Excursion Module. これですね。ちゃんと合ってる。月着陸船。そんな。あなたの指している通り、このレムは一種の乗り物に過ぎません。私と、そしてもしかしたら神と、そしてあるいはまた別の存在の。Yeah, I'd forgotten about uh I didn't remember all of this, uh, so yeah, that's why I wasn't entirely sure about uh, the meaning of Lem earlier, but yeah, that confirms it. I see, so that's what she meant. A vehicle for the purpose of descending to the moon. Mutsuki wanted to go to the moon to see if rabbits were real there or not. And to me, Ram, no, that's wrong. I've had it wrong this whole time. Her name is Lem, not Ram. 
Anyway, to me, Lem is also a vehicle that allows me to descend to the moon in my dreams, known as Mutsuki. It feels like all the pieces of the puzzle have come together. It looked like magic to me. I feel like I understand the reason why they call excellent network technical experts wizards now. <laughs> Yumi points at the windows on her pocket computer. It says electronic thesaurus and Japanese English dictionary on it. <laughs> what the hell have I been doing? I didn't even realize something so obvious. I could have figured it out by simply using a dictionary online or at the library. Yumi suddenly looks at me with a strange gaze. She looks unsatisfied, as if there's something she wants to ask me. I instinctively put a bit of distance between us. The backlight illuminating Yumi looks beautiful and wondrous. But to me, it's also like the light of a light trap used to kill insects. <笑>間違ってたのかな。ユミの出したキーワード。いや、すごくぴったり合ってた。あ、抜群に合ってた。本当にいくら感謝しても足りないほどだよ。そうなんですか。よかった。ユミでの人の役に立ったりできるんですね
For an instant, I became happy and went to cry. Just then... That was a very cute sneeze. <laughs> yeah, it was. I instinctively looked through my bag. ねえ、と、あ、なんとかつめ草っていう薬草から作った薬らしいんだ。僕なんかこれで一晩で風邪治ったから。そうなんですか。すごく効くんですね。でも弓が貰ってもいいのかな。いや、クロスアート手伝
like uh, Inanna's husband in Sumerian mythology. A dream where you experience an entire lifetime is known as a blank dream. A dream? Well, that's shown up in some of the other words I've been through as well. Anyway, time to take them on. You blank a lunar eclipse with a camera. Photograph. Down clue. A large flower in the desert that stores water. A group that manages... Yeah. Edoc. Down clue. Latin for, I believe. A cross clue. Alice's Adventures blank. Underground. Talk about an important word. Three more clues have popped up. Down clue. The corporation that manages Kyoka Academy. Hmm. That's, that would be interesting to know. Someone who breaks the law is known as a... Uh, Blank. Impulse towards death in psychology. But it's not like Kyoga Academy is a corporation or something, right? And the fourth letter is R. That doesn't exactly narrow it down much. And what's this impulse towards death? Someone who breaks the law is known as a... Criminal. A blank chat is where you dress yourself as a character. For now, I'll leave it alone and try organizing the puzzle. Out of all the empty sections right now, I'll focus on the ones that have green boxes in them. Down clue. Black, large flower into the desert that stores water. Two words, apostrophe omitted. A chronograph that shows the time between new moons from Alpha Corporation. When I solve these two, I'll have just two more letters to go. The first clue is a simple one. Cactus. Next is... <sighs> Alpha Corporation, Between New Moons, Cor Chronograph. Moon's Age. Moon's Age. I click on the link that feels like it's daring me to look. Huh? A familiar watch is lying there. The five-digit price I see there is almost eye-popping. And that's... Tosa. It's that watch Dad's always wearing. I saw him put it down on the dining room table the last time we talked to each other. But why does Dad have one? Is he connected to all this too? Yes, I think so. Uh, yeah. Moon's age. Blank is the drive for lust in psychology. I check the positions of the two remaining circles. One is on the lower right and contains one of the letters from uh, blank chat in it. If I solve that one, I'll be able to access it. Fortunately, the second letter of it crosses over with another word. Blank, this Latin word for I believe. This one's a snap. I just have to do what Yumi taught me and look it up in a dictionary. I believe. Credo. Koreka? It's got the same number of letters, and the C is in the right place, so I'm pretty sure this is it. Credo. Yes. Now the other clues are a tad easier. Blank. Tad. Where you dress yourself as a character. Huh? Well. Comsat. <laughs> Topical. Wow. Co costule? I don't think that's a word. Nominal. Okay, when I'm just randomly guessing nonsensical words, that's a clear sign to give up. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. This question is definitely Inagaki's area of expertise. Should I try asking him tomorrow? If that's the case, the only other open section is in the middle section. However... Masaka. I instinctively doubt my eyes. 
There's an across word, a down word, and a green square next uh, 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 where the two meet. But no matter how many times I look, that's all there is. I quickly move the pointer and randomly click around that area. It's almost like it's not responding. In other words, there's no connections to them from words in other places, so I can't click any of them. An independent area that doesn't form a chain with anything else. <laughs> By the way, um, yeah, it's this and this, I think it's referring to. Depending on the situation, I might be able to solve it even if I don't have one of the letters. But if I don't have all the letters to such a long anagram, the possibility of solving it grows lower. A pitch black curtain begins to cover my field of vision once again. I'm wrapped up in the sensation of fruitless effort, and I'm really tired after this long day. Depression hits me as I hold my head in my hands. Okay, this is uh, where I'm gonna stop for now. It's a bit short, but... <laughs> Yeah. So we'll continue this next time. Goodbye.